Hi friends, you might not believe even a simple soldering iron like this could be fake. So with the help of this circuit, if you remember, this is the AC energy measurement circuit which can measure the active power of any AC load as well. So with the help of this circuit, we can easily ident identify or spot any fake soldering iron. I will make five experiments, so I will test all of these four soldering irons all of them are ceramic based i mean the heating element is ceramic okay and my last test would be my soldering station this is the power connector so let's go for the first test this one it has no label or anything on it but i remember the package says it is 40 watts let's see if it is real or not so it starts with 30 but it quickly comes down, I think, to maybe to 20. It should be, yes, do you see that? 22, 21. So it fluctuates around 20 watts. So this is not a 40 watts soldering iron. And the first red flag of this fake soldering iron is no label or no brand or nothing and means no responsibility for this product okay don't go for cheap things ah, okay this is the second one it says 40 watts it has some brand and the label but let's see All right, it's around 28 watts. Let's say 30 watts. It's not bad. It's, do you see that it's not bad? Because it has some label or name or brand or whatever. So it is better than the previous one. 10 watts uh, difference is better than half. Okay? I mean 30 watts better than 20 watts. At least the difference is 10, not 20. Let's go the, for the next one. So this is a brand. It says Load Star and it says 30 watts. So let's see. Ah, yes. Do you see that? Exactly stays around 30 watts. So this is the difference. Don't go for cheap things. When there is a label and there is a manufacturer and a website on the package, so it means they are at least responsible for what they make and what they manufacture so good ones there is a good this is a good soldering iron and the last one from this side is this one i don't know the brand it's something weird and it says 40 watts let's see And do you see that? 10, even lower than 10, 9.2 watts. So this is not a 40 watts soldering iron. This is 10 watts. Don't go for cheap things. Do you see? This is a difference. You are not clever. They fool you. When you buy cheap things, you are not clever. They are clever. So this is not 40, this is 10 huge difference unbelievable and this is power connection for the stationary and there you go it says 40 watts do you see the difference this is a stationary uh, soldering this is a so, um, station soldering station okay and it has a name and brand on it so the result of this story is that never go for cheap things and this is the result and this is the difference go for something that it has a name i don't i don't say that you should go and buy very expensive soldering uh iron like heiko a few hundred dollars i think but at least if you go for chinese manufacturer check if it has a name or website or some known manufacturer you can go to the website and check the products and such thing then the risk is much much lower and the biggest red flag is 
when the uh, when you buy something that it has no name or no brand and nothing just a claim 40 watts so this is the result 40 watts is 10 watts so i hope you like this video don't forget to share and subscribe give me a big thumbs up catch you next time